<laughs> All right, so I want to look at this first one, symptom onset. You guys know a symptom, right? What, what are some symptoms? How you feel, <coughs> right? Fever, cough, cold. Onset is a little more difficult, but we said we could break that up into on and set, right? So think about, I like to think about a good one for this is the lights, right? So what happens? I turn the lights off, I turn the lights on. So what do you think a symptom onset is? It happens at this time, good, right? First time, exactly. So the symptom onset is the start of your symptoms. Just like you turn on the light, it starts the light. The symptom onset is when your symptoms start. How about our difficult pronunciation, respiratory? What do you think that means? Any guesses that you came up with in your groups? It has to do with breathing, right? It's similar to the word, if you know, respire. It has to do with breathing. So anything respiratory is going to have to do with, right, our chest or our breathing. So if you go to the doctor and she says, are you having any respiratory problems? It really means with your breathing. And a lot of people were wondering about this word, intense. Can we break it down? Yeah, in and tense. And what does tense mean? <coughs> kind of like stress, right? Is that positive or negative? Negative. negative. And is it a strong emotion or is it weak? Strong. Strong, strong, right? And so that's what intense means, something that is strong, right? So you will go to the doctor and you maybe have a pain in your arm. And the doctor will ask you, is it intense, right? Is it strong? Um, how about chills? What was that, Estefania? It works. Positive work, like cool. Ah! So, so in English, we can talk about something that is very chill. And that is positive, yes. But when we think about our health, it's negative. Oh, we know this, right? Um, you know the word chili? This word. Chili. What does it mean? Cold. It's like cold, right? When you're cold, you shiver and shake. And that's what the chills are. When you get sick and you shiver and shake and you feel cold, that is the chills. So how about fatigue? Anyone know that one? Weak or tired, exactly. So at the end of the class, when I go home at 2.30, I'm fatigued from running around all day. Um, and so we know chest. Discomfort, can you break that up? Yeah. This and comfort. So what does comfort mean? Comfortable. Positive or negative? Positive. Right? Good or bad? Good. But what does that dis tell us? No. No. So chest discomfort means your chest is not comfortable. Yeah, you're sick. And I heard this group, you were talking about that. And I think it was you, Tuyet. What did you say for chest discomfort? You had a good explanation. Uh, chest discomfort is when your chest is feel hard to breathe, or it's feel comfortable when you get sick. Yeah, right? It's harder to breathe, or maybe you feel tight in yeah. your chest. Good. This one is a kind of a tricky.